Hey, this is Susie and Alex, and we are Soilmates of Georgia. Thanks for joining us today. We are at the farm, and we have tons of work to do today. What are we doing, Alex? So today, our big project is putting in some electrical fence for the cattle. We are adding to our rotational grazing and splitting up a big field here. So this is our first time doing it. We've never installed the poly wire and hope we can do it. We've watched a lot of videos, think we have a clue, but we'll soon find out if we are actually clueless. So <laughs> stick around and see how we do. So we finished up. We were bumbling, I don't know if I call us idiots or uninformed or something, but we didn't know what we were doing and it showed, so we didn't record any of that because we were really bad at it. I had one of my college friends come down and help and, um, well, attempt to help, he was no good also. But the good news is, as soon as he comes in, I have a little tester here that came with the kit we got. And if I put it on the wire, it, let me see, so this is the red one, if it's here, it's red, and then it goes to green, it's at 8,000 volts, or a minimum, this only goes up to 8,000, so it might be more than that, I don't know. But what's cool is, we figured it out. It is 5.15 now, we finished maybe 15 or 30 minutes ago, and, <laughs> So we think it took us, we started at one, didn't we? So it's uh, about four hours. And we did about 2,000 feet of rope, or probably 1,900 feet, I think we have about 100 feet left over. And we changed plans the whole way through trying to figure out what we we're doing. But while we're standing at the charger, I wanna show you what we have here. This is connected to the solar charger, and that's why, that's what has it hot. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the power off here so I don't mess up and touch it while we're doing the rest of this video. I'm mean, taking that off just as an extra precaution, but it should be, there's a butt power button on the back. Now that that's off, we should be good. It's grounded over here. It's a long rod and it's so wet down here. I didn't even have to use a um, sledgehammer or anything. I just pushed that in and went right in like three feet easily. So this solar panel, it's a little dusty. We're hitting pollen season now. It's facing south this way or roughly this way. So the sun kind of comes up and goes there. So this should be at roughly the right angle it's going to have a lot of sun and it's you know it's probably a little ways we could do it but i have it it's plugged in the ground too that sits here it's right under the rope so that the cows aren't going to get on it i don't think um they'll probably they check out everything so we'll, we'll see what they do but let us show you what we did and kind of walk through it because it ended up working and like i said it's all hot all the way down and all the way in uh, to the fence um so we'll go to that now but i'm not plugging it back in yet all right, so this was what we were really stuck on. This is what we started the project with, and we knew this was kind of the turning point of how it would work. But if you actually, Susie, if you turn around and go back this way, the field goes all the way through, and so the trucks will come up. We have a bridge way down here. They'll come up, and the tractor will come up. We wanted to have the gate kind of opening here to go to the upper part of the hill, and that's the part we were blocking off for a rotational grazing. So by having all the space, it's an easier angle to get up through here. So that's why the gate's here. And the gate we have connected through a spring catch. And so we can undo it. That makes this side not hot. That would still be hot if it was plugged in. But with the safety handle, you don't have to touch it. Um, I don't know what we're going to do with that. That can actually just hang down because it's got such a spring on it. And then we ran the wire. I'm not going to go back into the woods to a T post that was in there. <laughs> and just have a couple more pigtails uh, blocking it off. But that connected it to the side. So we've got it from that fence post, that's to the property edge over there. So that gets blocked off. And then we'll head down that way and show you where we went uh, and why we did it the way we did. So I'm going to connect this back so we don't forget later. But if, uh, actually, Susie, if you come in here, I think we could use some advice on the right way to do this. Uh, I'm there is, I've tested it. Well, it's unplugged now, but I've tested this wire is hot, the spring's hot, and the rope over there is hot. But in here, I don't know if we tied it and did all kind of things and put on these clamps. So it's good, but there's probably a better way if somebody wants to give us a tip. And then holding it over here, there's a, a coil that it wraps around. And so the pressure on that pressing up against it uh, keeps it all together. So all of it's really good and it's really tight. Uh, and we just have the spring here to give a little more tension at the far end at 1900 feet the other way we have a um, uh, What do you call it? Something that wraps around it mm -hmm. and a crank and that uh, a tensioner. That's what it is So that should be good and that so that pops over and pulls it over and then comes back in And so it's safe to grab the handle and move away from it 
All right, so after we got the gate finished, we decided to walk the line here. And uh, like I said, I had one of my friends down here who it was ended up being a big help to have three people because he could carry posts and walk it off. I could run back to the truck and get more and take the truck different stages. And uh, then Susie could carry the reel. And as she rolled it out, I could throw in post and my friend could uh, walk it off and say, okay, that's about 30 feet. That's about 30 feet. We weren't being exact. We were also looking where there's a low spot in some of these hills. And you'll see as we turn this corner up here, it's not a straight line, which was the goal. And maybe we'll change that eventually. But these pigtails, so that, I'll stop on that for a minute. These, I turned the wire back on, so I'm gonna try not to touch it if I can remember. Um, but these pigtails are a good way. They have a rubber uh, or plastic uh, thing around them here. So they don't, uh, they're not conductive for electricity. And um, the wire can go through there. And they're, it's a two prong um, attach or a two prong um, in the ground. And so it's really surprisingly sturdy. Actually, you know what, I'll, uh, I'll show you. How it can get pushed and pulled and it's fine. So if a deer comes along and hits it, then it's not going to just snap the wire. It has that give, which we thought was important. But when we get around here, we were trying to go far enough away so that we can mow on this side if we need to, or the cows can graze on that side. Because when we get to the end, we were short on rope. And so we had to kind of make a, a turn and we will show down there, but it's, there's a big open pasture that's not cut off the way we wanted. And this gives a path for them to get to it. Um, not through here, but through down here. Uh, but then now you can see we did a hook in here. Um, and you can see that uh, it kind of goes to the left and then it hooks back to the right. And one of the reasons is we we're trying to keep all of the pasture on this side as open as possible. There's a creek over here. So the cows are going to have access to the creek as we rotationally graze. Sorry, the gnats are out here now. Uh, as we rotationally graze, they always have to have um, access to the water and we don't have wells around the farm and watering troughs so we'll have the grazing pasture where we filmed a few times where that debris pile is up there uh, that is going to be closed off it has a gate already a uh, barbed wire gate and then this will be one that's uh, closed off right now and then we have another one where the bull pasture is where I did the pasture walk last week in the rain that's up here and that can be closed off so this is our third paddock this part is basically always going to be open to them, to the cows, uh, because they can get to the water. Unless, I just, unless they're in another pasture and they come over. But there's, there's three solid pastures now, each of them between 12 and uh, 17 acres. So it gives them a lot. It's, we want to divide it up more than that over time. But for now, that gives us, if we rotate them every week, that gives us um, two weeks rest for each division and then the grass has a chance to recover more. Uh, we need to have more like two months would be ideal, but for now, every week rotating them is easy enough. So now you can see the line going down here a little bit more and it turns. And the reason we had to bow out more through some of this is there's some big dips in there and we didn't want to deal with that. And then far, farther down, when it's in the winter or early spring, we get a ton of rain and it's all marshy in there. So we couldn't even get as close to the trees as we wanted to um, without the uh, post falling out too much. But it's pretty good how it is now. And it just curves around. And I didn't think, this is it's interesting to me as a novice, I didn't think that the posts were gonna hold on these angles. Like this has a slight bend to it. We try to do slight bends wherever we could instead of just a, a 90 degree angle. I don't know how they would last on that. Uh, but there's one we just need to straighten up. We'll do that another day. Um, but even on these, it had a, a good 30 degree turn The uh, pigtails held up great. So I'm pretty excited about them. Uh, and I'm not going to walk the whole line because you can see it from here, but they go down and there's a marshy area over here. And then it goes, uh, we can get down to the end and show that, uh, but we'll drive down there on our way out and catch that. So we have a little bit more to show you and then we'll be done. All right. So now we're at the far end. And so I wanted to show what our last turn was. And then we we're connected it, but also I brought the charger down here. So this is, this is at least 1800 feet uh, into it. And red, they're green, 8,000 volts again. So that's awesome. I'm really excited about that. The, um, I think this charger is supposed to be 
at least two miles, maybe it's three miles. And like I said, we didn't have, we have like, what is that? Uh, two fifths of a mile or less than that. So we've got plenty more we could do if we ended up doing another one one day with sheep or extending it different directions. This same charger, that 60 will be great still. So on this, I don't know if you can be able to get around over here because it's hot, so don't touch it. But we have a T-post in here and an insulator. So we're running it around the outside and it's plastic in here. So there's a thing that keeps it in, a little um, pin that goes through and keeps it in. And then um, it's not touching any of the metal. If it touched the T-post, it would short out. <laughs> so back down here, we just made a little bit of it. It's almost a 90 degree turn. Um, coming down here into the woods is where we had our, I guess the terminal spot is what we call it. But we came, this is the creek I was talking about. So up into the creek, let me jump, jump up here. We have another T-post we put in here and we roped it off similar to the one we have up there. And by the time we got here, my other friend showed up. Don't touch it, you're getting close. <laughs> and um, he's better with knots than I am or better. Susie actually, I think is better in the end, but we didn't realize that until later. She finished the other end up after they left. Uh, but he tied it off here. And then this is a tensioner here. And so once we got it as tight as we thought it should be from pulling on it, you can, there's a crank down here. You can twist that and that pulls it in. That's why even where it's a little bit crooked on some of our lines, it's still held in nicely and it looks like it's taut. So this is at the very end. I haven't tested this yet. Another, it's still 8,000 volts at the end. So end to end 8,000 volts, which I'm psyched about, or minimum 8,000. Uh, I'm curious how much uh, more it is. And the cows can't get through there? Yeah, so there's room, like I can step through here. Um, but I don't think the cows would come through. It's too much of a slant. There's a steep drop off. There is some barbed wire, which um, uh, it's the poison ivy on that. Um, yeah, I, mean, I don't think that's going to do anything extra. That's going to fall right back. Um, but they're not, I don't think they're going to come around and search this. If they do, then we'll have to change it. But we have to kind of just put it up something. I didn't, we didn't want to go any closer because right now the ground is really wet. And when it floods, we think this would soak and it might fall off. Um, even though this T-post is a couple of feet in the ground, we think that um, it, with the tension, maybe it would break within a flood. Uh, and we get a few floods a year down here. But that's it. We're excited. We had an awesome day down here. It's in the middle of all the coronavirus scare stuff. And we just got out of Atlanta, came down here, got to see some friends, gave some elbow bumps, and had a good day of clean, fresh air down here, away from everybody, away from town. And got a project done that I bought this stuff I think it was a year ago. It was either April or May of last year. And through a bunch of reasons why we didn't get to it, now we have and it's done. So we're excited. Thank you all for watching, especially for it this long to the video. Uh, we appreciate you. And uh, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. If you have subscribed, thanks for joining us and um, like this video. And please give us some tips. We show different parts of it. We know there's some corrections we need to make. Let us know what we should do differently. Because this is a temporary fence, we can fix it easily. So thanks for the thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Okay, so these were really close to touching the um, hot wire. And so Alex is trimming this back and um, just to be on the safe side. And then he moved this little post over a bit. I think that's enough to keep it off. Get a little bit more. Um, and of course, I always do this when I don't have gloves on. Um, well, but only a little blood today, so that's something. Um, if, if you don't come to the farm and get blood, then you have not worked hard enough. <laughs> oh, there are little scratches always, but they're always there. Uh, but it, cool. the whole goal was just to get some of this trimmed up so it wasn't hitting the fence. Uh, but it's funny, once you start, and we're going to leave, I promise, Susie. <laughs> once you stop and start, once you stop another project and you get sidetracked like this, it's easy to be like, well, we can just keep on trimming back and you get in there, but I'm going to stop while I have the rest of my blood and uh, call it a day. And this is off now because I didn't trust me getting under it. <laughs> yeah, that's enough to keep it away. There's more down there, though. No, you're good. <laughs> 
That's there, done. There is some. We gotta go home. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Alex, you promised me we'd be going back. <laughs> that you're just gonna trim those little bushes. Oh, oh, oh okay. It never fails unless it fails. <laughs> uh, close call. <laughs> I'm getting scared. <laughs> I was getting scared. Scared. Okay, so we are in this rickety old car. <laughs> Truck. Truck. Sorry, I can't think. I've been jostled around so much in this thing. Um, we are just driving around to make sure. I don't think your door shut all the way. So we are driving around in Hattie, very old truck, to make sure that none of the cows snuck up here while we were doing the fence because then they would be stuck. So. Is there a good sunset? Not yet? Not yet. Okay. Uh, it's going to be a nice one tonight though, it looks like. Oh my gosh, so bouncy. This is like a oh, roller coaster ride. Watch out, watch out. No cows snuck through. Okay. Oh my goodness. Whew. Okay, I am very nauseous now. All right, so Alex is closing the gate back up if you can see right there. And I have my foot on the brake because the other brake doesn't work. Okay.